As it is written, our hero was smitten and rescued the maiden from impending doom. On a horse made of steel, evil guys on his heels, he rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom. She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less, and the whole part concerning the uppercut scare can be pinned at least to some extent on her damaged brain and blood. Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's up? Who's gonna care? What a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopper bubba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse. Where are we, anyway? Hey! That's the old junk mine rail system! Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! Organon Cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. Holy smoke. Those are the same Organons that were threatening Goal. Maybe they caught that Cletus guy. Yeah, I knew he'd be a wimp. So what am I gonna do now? I guess it's better to remain hidden. Maybe I can find out something useful. And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium, and those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. Here he comes. Aries, Bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the ascension codes. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but they're certainly up to no good, and I can never allow Goal to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me. <laughs> You're right. The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. This guy's luggage. I bet he for- Of course not. You never know when you have to cut through a wire fence. No. 
greasy hairdo, ugly cape, and stiff collar. What does Gold see in this wuss? Cletus. Rufus. Finally, I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Goal? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect, genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring Goal to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No Goal, no deal. So what now? So, the deal is still on? Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. Grrr. Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? I asked first. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? <laughs> What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, physically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Mm, theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, there were rumors. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh. One thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up. Right? Hmm. No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. Whoa. I think I've missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown up, have you? Yeah, yeah. Boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Deponia on orders from Elysium. To examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? No! You'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia, so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Ho ho! Bravo! You really did understand everything. Yes! Oh boy, am I good! I'm so incredibly good! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Well, I will never let that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon so that they can... No, no, no! Wait a minute! I wasn't finished yet! I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. I, on the other hand, uh... I don't care at all, but 
Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. I knew that. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories, up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling! All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? I deserve better. That I highly doubt. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls, the whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash, we eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass, disappear. I'm going where potatoes potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, dad? Count me out. And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litterbug now, huh? Who's the litterbug now? <sighs> okay... You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? So, the deal is still on? Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. Grrr. Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Oh yes. Have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. Stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. Almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have... What? Where am I? Cletus? Is that you? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfie. Rufus. I recognize you. There was that big hall. And then, I remember, a hospital ward. There were other people too. Deponians! So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... what? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But 
I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or, or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited. The monster! Exactly! The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Huh. <laughs> Hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot! We should fix up the trash trawler. We can easily find everything we need for that in the trash heaps. For the kerosene, we'll milk the Organon cruiser. After that, we'll just need a large slingshot and several tons of raw rubber. Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh-oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey! Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> that was
wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, come on. We need to hurry. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiancé, Goal. Finally! I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that, <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, Honey Bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough. You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh, yeah, finally. Final, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh... Uh, of, of course. <clears throat> Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but... Shoo-shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while, then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Goal must be deleted. And we need the Ascension Codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Yikes. Be serious. People are living here, Cletus. I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go, tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. Ha <laughs> ha! And you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of shwe Yeah, just like I do. Oh, yeah? What's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But, Rufus... <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. What have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. All right, that's enough. Rufus has a certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> so this is the wimp you want lacking. to replace me with. Don't make me laugh.
Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does. Huh. Be this one. Look at the way. Disgust. But <laughs> and your don't me. Professor's miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in the department of body odor. <laughs> the inventory Rufus of these has more rags in his head than you have. Small. You can't yes, even and I'm sure you could feed three parents. horses with it. Rufus has a certain... Ooh. Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. I'd rather hang Cletus from his collar here. The guy is as good. Goal simply has the better arguments. At least Rufus is fighting for something he believes in. Oh, you mean he's fighting for the Easter Bunny? Rufus simply has more class than you. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? I think it's best with... You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. He could certainly use it. After all, he's... N Rufus simply has more class than you. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? Ugh! Lace under... <laughs> Ugh! Lace... <laughs> Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are... Hands off! Damn! Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. No, I... Rufus is miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in the yeah, part well... of body odor. Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I'll pass the new. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? Ugh! <laughs> At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club? Whoa. I'm not leaving with a... All right, that's a... So this is the wimp you want to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh, my. Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> my birthmark, you dumbass. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! No, don't! Yeah! We did it! We really did it! On to Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go! To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gol. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. Gol, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gol, don't. Gol, listen. You don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for.
yet a third time. Oh, Gaul. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bother! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious. You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me. Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Do you want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub. Okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um... Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm? On to Elysium and all that, yes? No? Um... What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then, on to Elysium, right? Say, Goal. Yes? Um... Well, it's like this. I'm all ears. Well... What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right, then. I'm going to tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax. Relax! Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove... This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh. Fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. Ugh! Late? <laughs> No time. They could be back any second. No time. They could be back. I'm not leaving without... No time. They could be back. No time. They could be... No.
no time. They could be back. Hello. Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gull's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. Ha! <laughs> you wish. What is going ah, on here? The Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than Gull's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up and then realizes that you've brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. L let's talk this over. And why, pray tell, should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge. Nothing else. Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet that Gold would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponio will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> I hate that guy. Cletus? What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh, yes. The cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> so long, suckers! Uh, no! Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge. Uh, 
Bravo, Prime Controller, sir! Damn, he's too far No one can resist the Organon! See you later. No! Stop! Oh, Oof. What are you doing? Stop! 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 Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Back so soon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall. And you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. <laughs> Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but, uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Now look at you startled, the brain implant cartridge has not been swapped, which was all part of the plan. A world has been rescued that he did detest, who'd have guessed, I attest, you'd have done just the same. So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores, like washing the dishes to the trash and such, you'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said. A message at its course like a huzzah as a rule. Huzzah, the chorus guys rule. Droggle jug. 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 Droggle jug, 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 droggle jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle, droggle jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug. Droggle, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug. Huzzah, droggle jug.